Joining us now to discuss this flight and the future of air travel is CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg. And Peter, this seems so unfair to the other passengers on this flight. Why do they have to be punished for the actions of one person? Well, it's about a safety issue. If you have a disruptive passenger on a flight who may be affecting the safety of the flight, it's up to the captain to make that determination to return to the airport. It's no different than a mechanical issue that forces you to return. It's, it, it's done in the interest of safety. We've been hearing more and more cases like this of people being disruptive on planes, not wanting specifically to wear the face masks that are required by law on airplanes. But how common is it that the flight actually, that the crew makes a decision to turn around? Well, it's one thing to say, wear a mask, and then somebody does wear the mask. If they refuse to do it, if they act out, if they get violent or threaten violence, that ratchets it up to another level. The FAA reported nearly 6,000 cases of unruly, disruptive, or violent passengers in 2021. Of those, maybe about 40 flights actually diverted. Peter, I'm still thinking about the other people on that plane who were so inconvenienced. Will they be compensated, do you think, somehow? In many cases, they are. They're either given vouchers that give them a dollar amount for a future flight, or they may be upgraded or given a credit. Uh, it's something that the airline didn't, it wasn't their fault, but they feel responsible for it. And in many cases, that's the compensation that happens. We do know police were waiting at the gate when that flight returned to Miami. So this problematic person on the plane, what sorts of consequences could they be facing? Well, there are both civil and criminal penalties, not to mention penalties from the airline itself. Number one, that passenger probably is banned from that flight and all other flights on that airline. There could be a civil penalty from the FAA up to about $52,000. And depending on the level of violence and any crime that may have committed, there may, that person may also go to prison. Peter, do you think that this is the new normal in air travel? As long as they're not counting the number of people getting on planes already drunk, because so many of these cases involve alcohol consumption prior to boarding the plane, if they don't address that, this may be the new normal for the rest of this year. We have heard of some airlines curbing that alcohol consumption, some cutting it off altogether. But of course, with the surge continuing to happen and those masks still being required, we'll likely be seeing, unfortunately, more of these cases. Peter Greenberg, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Peter.